The pure sense of escapism that video games can offer is truly unique. Gaming gives us the chance to slip away to fantastical worlds for a little while and forget about the modern world by embarking on epic quests or just tending to some virtual plants or something. You know, whatever gets you by, who am I to judge? Whilst a couple of hours here and there can never hurt anybody though, some games demand a lot more time and commitment to get the most out of them. The games featured here today then not only have addictive and rewarding gameplay, but they might as well become full shifts where you wake up, throw on your high-vis jacket and come home nine hours later by turning off the console. I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com and these are 10 video games that will consume your life. 10. The XCOM series if you're the type of person who plays video games as a way of combating the stresses of everyday life, then XCOM may not be for you. However, if you're a masochist who loves a good challenge, by all means, jump right in. A perfect example of the just one more mission approach to gameplay, XCOM provides an immersive, challenging, and deeply rewarding experience that keeps the tension high throughout to ensure you keep playing. As the commander of XCOM, you must lead your hired soldiers into high-stakes turn-based skirmishes with the constant threat of permadeath looming over you. You begin to even care about your soldiers, coming up with their backstories, loves, kinks and desires. So much so in fact that you'll dread every order you give them, knowing full well that you could be sending them to an early grave. Alongside all the turn-based action, there's also base and resource management, research projects and weapon upgrades that keep you hammering away until the next UFO sighting drags you back onto the battlefield. It's genuinely intoxicating stuff, but not for the faint-hearted. Number 9. Let It Die Emerging as one of the biggest cult hits of the past few years, Grasshopper manufacturers also bonkers Let It Die appeared out of nowhere and offered players a staggering amount of content for the low, low price of Sweet F All. That's right, Let It Die is a free-to-play title that you can download now for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Steam. The way I delivered that sounded weirdly like an advert, but I promise this is not sponsored. Existing as something of a Dark Souls knockoff by way of a roguelike, Let It Die puts you in the shoes of an unnamed protagonist who's guided through a bizarre world by a skateboarding Grim Reaper type known as Uncle Death. Do I even need to go on? A playthrough consisting solely of the main story content can take the average player around 90 hours to finish. Whereas for the completionists among us, strap yourself in for a staggering 180 hours of pure, unfiltered hack and slash mayhem. A truly staggering amount of content in a title that you don't have to pay a penny for. Number 8. Assassin's Creed Odyssey the latest entry in Ubisoft's long-running stab-happy chappy simulator, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is the biggest and longest game in the franchise to date. Building off of the foundations that Assassin's Creed Origins implemented when it completely shook up the series' formula, Odyssey marches forward with a more refined combat system, finely tuned RPG mechanics as well as a whole host of mythological monsters to seek out and destroy. The game is full to the brim with quests, side missions, hidden areas, and legions of soldiers and bandits for you to lock swords with along the way. It also wouldn't be an Assassin's Creed game if there wasn't a butt ton of collectibles scattered throughout the world, and you better believe that Odyssey is no exception. There's hundreds of these bloody things concealed in the tightest of crevices, encouraging players to explore and experiment when it comes to treasure hunting. With a seemingly never-ending stream of content thanks to an overly generous season pass, Odyssey will keep you glued to your controller for a good 200 plus hours if you're dead set on finding and doing everything that the game has to offer. Number 7. Stardew Valley a little indie game that took the gaming world by storm back in 2016, Stardew Valley was a welcome return to a more relaxed and cosy style of gameplay. I mean, who needs adrenaline-fueled gun battles or high-octane combat mechanics when you could just water a field of crops or tend to your barn full of cows? Whilst it may look all cute and innocent on the surface though, Stardew Valley is an insidiously addictive game that will consume your every waking hour if you let it. Your daily list of tasks starts small, like tending to chickens and harvesting crops, but as time goes on, that list only gets larger and more demanding. Before long, your farm has tripled in size, your task list is as long as your arm, and you've now got a spouse that needs constant love and affection. Somehow, this cute little farming game has taken roots in your psyche and refused to let go, keeping you enslaved in this humble and idyllic lifestyle. Despite its nefarious allure, Stardew Valley is an absolute joy to play and something that appeals to both casual and hardcore gamers alike. Number 6. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim the game's so good that Bethesda just keeps on re-releasing it every two months or so, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is one of modern gaming's biggest and most time-consuming experiences. 
Even nine years after its initial launch, newcomers and veterans alike are still finding their precious free time being taken up with all manner of fantasy shenanigans. Everything from learning magic, battling dragons and raiding hidden dungeons is here and it can be a bit overwhelming on a first playthrough, but once you start to get your bearings, you'll be setting off on your own little adventures in no time, losing yourself to the game's diverse cast of characters and factions who all have unique quests and storylines that will immediately pull you in. While the base game alone contains a hearty 75 hours or so worth of content for you to mindlessly grind away at, if you factor in all of the available DLC, you're looking at a whopping 180 plus hours of gameplay. The fun doesn't even have to end there though, as a very dedicated modding community churns out a whole host of new content for you to experiment with until your heart's content. Number 5. The Mass Effect Series Taking the reins as Commander Shepard, you must lead an elite team of both human and extraterrestrial soldiers into battle against an unknown alien force as the Reapers in EA's original Mass Effect trilogy. This mission will send you to a vast array of planets with a large roster of missions to tackle as well. When you're not traveling through the farthest reaches of space though, or battling some unknown life forms, you'll be spending time with your crew, talking, bonding, and maybe even indulging in a bit of the old horizontal monster mash if you get lucky. The affection you feel for those aboard your space station gives the series a real emotional pull that keeps you invested until the very end. If you play these games sequentially, and we definitely recommend you do, then your choices, bonds, and actions in previous games help to shape the wider narrative. Mass Effect, even as a full trilogy, is shorter than most games on this list, but the amount of times you'll play through each one trying different builds and permutations of the plot makes it one of the most engrossing experiences you'll ever play. Number 4. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Traversing magical lands, slaying monsters, and seducing anyone that happens to catch your eye is all in the day's work for a witcher. But you better hope you've got some spare holiday hours from work left if you're going to try and tackle this behemoth. Known for giving fans what they want, CD Projekt Red have stuffed every last crevice of this game with content. You'll embark upon one mission only to pick up several side quests along the way, which often make you veer off the designated path and into yet more side quests while you're at it. Before long, you'll toss aside your daily tasks and be all about that Witcher lifestyle, going wherever you're needed and cutting down any foul beasts before hopping to the next town to do it all again. Fantasy RPGs tend to err on the more ridiculous side of time consuming, but The Witcher 3 takes the absolute absolute kick when it comes to sheer quantity of content. The base game alone boasts a staggering 100 plus hours of main story and side quests, but throw in its two DLC expansions and the total gets much closer to 200. Number 3. Animal Crossing Deceptively cute on the surface and fiendishly addictive underneath, the Animal Crossing series has been chewing on our free time for almost 20 years now. A simple yet simultaneously deep life simulator in which you control a human villager and go about your daily business in a small town inhabited with all manner of adorable anthropomorphic animals. This alone makes the game sound like a relaxing and charming experience, but Animal Crossing has a few tricks up its sleeve to keep you hooked on its charming gameplay. The most ingenious of which is that the world of Animal Crossing operates on real time, which is tracked by your console's internal clock, meaning that certain in-game functions like shops and other public areas are only open at specific times of the day. It certainly adds to the immersion, but it ultimately leads to Animal Crossing dictating exactly when and how you play it. Number 2. World of Warcraft the undisputed juggernaut of the MMO genre, World of Warcraft has been consuming the lives of players for a whopping 16 years now, with seemingly no end in sight either. By no means the first of its kind, World of Warcraft came along at a time where the genre wasn't entirely sure of its identity, leading to a mishmash of games that wavered greatly in quality. Once WoW did hit the scene though, it became the defining example of what the genre could be. The original base game contained a mammoth amount of content, from storyline quests to online raid dungeons that you could tackle with a legion of other players. As time went on, Blizzard greatly expanded the size and scope of the game, resulting in a total of 8 expansion packs that added new locations, enemies, classes, and much, much more to what was already an incredibly dense game. Avid players of WoW have been known to spend a disgusting amount of hours fighting and pillaging their way across the world, often neglecting basic needs and responsibilities to do so. And to be honest, I don't blame them. Number 1. The Sims Series the epitome of a life-consuming time sink, The Sims is a game that immediately sinks its hooks into you and never truly lets go. Building houses, forging deep relationships, and designing your Sims to look exactly like the person you secretly lust after in the coffee shop queue all take a lot of time, patience, and creativity to get right. Once you do finish these simple and somewhat creepy projects, there's still a plethora of other things to do, build, and see. You quickly become attached to your virtual family, seeing their entire life journey 
many play out whilst your own life withers away before your very eyes. With an ungodly amount of expansion packs and player created mods available too, including everything from magical powers to just owning pets, there's an almost never ending stream of content to experiment with. The only limit as to how long you can play this game for is entirely down to you and what you want to get out of it. With no real end game goal and the potential for your sims to carry on their lineage with future generations, the sims will forever be an omnipresent distraction that will always draw you back in. So that's our list. Once you guys think down in the comments below, which forever games have I missed off here? And do any of you guys still find yourself coming back to these? Either way, while you're down there, could you give us a like, share, subscribe, and head over to whatculture.com for more lists and news like this every single day. Even if you don't, though, I've been Josh. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.